let me just get comfy. Hold on a minute. Hold your horses. Slurp of tea. Hey, welcome to episode two of my vlog series, uh, Travels with my camera. Well, I'm traveling around Spain. And in this episode, I'm up bright and early and heading out with my cameras into the old town of Valencia. I like to travel light when I'm wandering around, certainly in a new city. And I've got my Nikon D800, um, a wide angle zoom with me and a 50 mil as well. The trusty nifty 50. It's a real underrated lens actually, but I love using it. It was my first time visiting Valencia and it is a beautiful city, full of amazing buildings, narrow streets and really friendly people. So I hope you enjoy the episode. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. Sit back, relax and enjoy. Hola from Spain, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my Spanish adventure. Good morning, everyone. How is England doing this morning? Because Spain is looking beautiful. Give, give me a heads up. Let me tell, tell me. Hi, Scott. Great to see you back. I am back, my babies. It's been a busy couple of weeks, but I am back. Uh, well, I'm back in Spain or I'm over in Spain. I don't know quite how we're going to word this one. Good morning, Andy. The Lensman's in the house. How are you doing? Hi, Miritum, is that? Hi, how are you doing? Great clouds in Southampton. Hey, look at these clouds up here. They, they won't be hanging around long here. Sunny day in Birmingham. Hey, how are you doing? Nice and sharp. Sounds good. Too bad. I've been wandering. Let me say a proper hello to everyone, by the way. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I am in uh, sunny Spain. I'm up early this morning. I've got my hat on, I've got the sun cream on. They reckon it's about 32 Celsius by about four o'clock. Yeah, yeah, no shorts yet though. No shorts, am I saving those? Thing. Can you hear the church bell? 10 o'clock in Spain. I've had my coffee this morning. I've been out and about wandering around and I thought I'd take you on a quick tour about 10, 15 minutes of the area that I'm in now. Let me just swing this around. So, North Station, absolutely. We arrived last night. Five, five o'clock, thank you EasyJet, you did a great job for us. Um, well looked after. Uh, we got a taxi down in, we're staying in the uh, uh, Valencia, which is absolutely beautiful. You're from Valencia, you'll be able to tell us then. Love it, busy's good, oranges are. My Spanish pronunciation is terrible. I, I tried to order a coffee this morning and the guy was in hysterics. For Google translation, so I kind of type it in there. <laughs> I get in there. Anyway, look, let's have a little explore. <laughs> Day one in Valencia. Uh, we arrived yesterday um, and uh, had a good trip down. Went out last night for some food, and I'm up early this morning. Um, I want to explore, really. We're done with a little bit more sleep, but anyway, hey ho. I could do with a nice cup of coffee, as always. But we're going to go wandering around anyway uh, and have a look. We're in the old part of Valencia, the old city. It's absolutely beautiful buildings down here. So we're gonna go for a stroll anyway and see what we can find. photographs of that this morning and look the sun's just coming up Sunday morning here at the moment so it's still quite quiet so last night we were here and we had a we had a little bit of a, a drink just around here and it was absolutely packed here. I mean, it was Saturday night, but it was really, really busy, really lively. I'm not sure whether it would be as lively this evening. And there was guys playing uh, trumpets and, and <laughs> marching through here. It was crazy, but it was good crazy. It was great fun. And this is a fountain here, which is 
absolutely stunning so again I hope this evening it will be on um, and it was all lit up I was just so tired last night it was just a matter of getting out have something to eat and then go back to the hotel but this was all lit up and the water was everywhere it looks lovely with that blue sky above it I've got the wide angle on today see all the reflections in the water of the buildings around it's quite nice just here look at the light here the light is beautiful The morning light will just waken the city up and it's amazing. You get these lovely, as you see here, the dark shadows in the buildings and amongst the buildings. And then you see, it's not that strong actually. There's a little bit of cloud this morning. You just see that golden light just up here. It just lights up those buildings, just the tops and as the sun goes up the building. By later on, it'll be so hot down here. <laughs> I'm gonna be melting. Look at this building here, absolutely stunning. past here last night and it was still open at about 10 o'clock in the evening. Amazing pastries and what have you here. Yeah, I need a coffee, definitely. Let's go and have a look. Look at the ice cream here. Well, I found my coffee. Um, <laughs> I managed to order one. Nice cappuccino. Look at it. It looks good. My Spanish is terrible, um, but it's getting there. Thank goodness for Google Translate. That kind of works. Um, but look at this, isn't it lovely this morning? Down here, I'm so in need of coffee. Um, this threw me. Thank goodness the guy speaks English, because he said it in Spanish first of all. And, he's, and it turns out that there's a password to get into the toilet. So um, anyway, he's given me the password on a bit of paper, so that's okay. So that, that was a new one on me. Um, so we had a bit of a laugh about that. But yeah, lovely. Right, coffee time. Ooh, that coffee was really good. <laughs> right, I'm awake now. Um, so I was looking for Valencia Cathedral um, and I was sat right next to it. Um, there's so many beautiful, beautiful old buildings. So the cathedral is this large building here. Let me just try and show you, and we'll go a little bit closer later on. So that is the Valencia, the Valencia Cathedral. Amazing building. I was looking on Google Maps, actually, and Google Images, and the, the photographs inside look amazing. So I didn't know whether we'd get a chance to go in there, but certainly when the light's better, you can just see the, the tower, the light's just coming round. Um, just needs a little bit more light in there so we'll wait for wait for the sun to come up and we'll go exploring that but there's a lovely tower here i think it's called it's like a bell tower um probably the one that woke me up at about four o'clock this morning <laughs> anyway it's a really beautiful tower so i'm gonna need to go and do some photographs of that and show you that put it on top of the camera i think Ah, here we go. The biggest problem when you come to a new city, and especially if you're a different language, is finding out about the places that you, you're looking at. I mean, Google's great for it, but here we go. So this is the tower we've just walked underneath. So this area here, the Plaza Redonda. 
was designed in 1837 by the municipal architect Salvador Malcor S. Crick. I'm sure I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Uh, as if it were a single building, it was completed in 1848. Plaza was deeply rooted in the commercial life of the city with areas for selling birds and pottery, popular leisure places, chocolatiers. In 1916, the stalls for fishmongers were installed under a large and traditional wooden cover. This is here, look at these pictures. This is great, isn't it? All the pottery being sold. But th this place interests me. It'd be great to get up here, wouldn't it? Get an aerial view across the city. So I was reading on Google that I believe they had a, a terrible flood here. I don't know whether that is, it certainly looks like a flooded area, maybe. Something to do with it. Oh, it's a little coffee shop. Remember that one? So there's the tower again. You just see it looks like it's got um, cannons coming from the top. Oh, I might follow these group of tourists actually that are obviously on the guided tour. <laughs> it might get a good way of looking around because <laughs> I have no idea where I am. They're heading down this way. a market setting up. It's getting quite busy for a Sunday morning. I was expecting there to be nobody around. That's where we place it. Now, when we arrived, oh, pipe and sangria, eight point eight and a half euros. That's a good price. Um, when we arrived, actually, the taxi driver came in this way, and I had no idea what he actually what this place is, but it looks good. Ah, Central Market. Okay, so this is the famous Central Market which I don't think is open today. And we wanted to go in and have a little look around. It's nice, isn't it? Like that. Let's get a couple of photographs while I can. Deeper, I will shout. Let me know when I get closer. Open up the sky for me. When you say I'll dig much deeper, I will shout. So I'm here. I'm trying to find. There's a there's a bull ring around here. Very famous bull ring. And I think it's there, which I think is that way. <laughs> Let's go and find out. It's Tom. Hey, Tom. Yo, Tom. Ah, Tom, good of you to call. Oh, I'm doing fine, thank you very much. How are you? Nice and busy? I've uh, got another film coming out, have you? Yeah, I, funny you say that. I've seen the trailer. Looks good. I'm surprised you made it, actually. You're getting on a bit, aren't you? Uh, I know, the knees. Uh, back, I know. I'd love to chat, Tom, but I, I, it, it always calls at the wrong time. Um, I'm, I'm just on YouTube doing my... Yeah, that vlog thing that I told you about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Great balls of fire. No, there's no need to be like that. It's, you'd get so touchy at times, you know. What, you'd like to be in an episode? Well, maybe. Don't know. Might be able to sort something out. Oh, you old maverick, you. Oh, sweet talker. Hmm? Yeah, I know. I feel the need for speed as well, mate. Like the rest of you, you know. The wind running through my hair. The music playing. I know. I know what it's like, mate, you know. Have you still got that old jacket? Looked pretty good on you back in the 80s, mate. What, you really want to be in one of my vlogs? Well, you know. You don't have to show me the money. Go on, you do it. Go on. You're so good at it. He loves it when you ask him to do it. 
Well, I'll tell you what, if you get yourself over here by tomorrow lunchtime, you'll be in the next vlog. No problem. What, what do you mean? Say that again? What? Guido? Guido, did you say? Who's Guido? You got a trick midterm tomorrow and you're being chased by Guido, the killer pimp? Well, I, I, don't, I don't know what to say, Tom. I really don't. Have you got anyone else you can call a favour from? Well, yeah, I have been going to the gym lately, actually, but I, I, I do, you know, it, um, I, I'm really busy with this YouTube stuff at the moment, if I'm completely honest with you, Tom. I don't want to let you down. Oh, shut up. Shut up. You had me a hello. Of course I helped, Tom. For you, mate, I'll do my best. Leave it with me. But about appearing in my vlog, you know, um, I, I don't know about it. I mean, you can't be disappointed, really. You got those rose bushes and the used car, didn't you? Listen, listen, Tom, Tom, you, Tom, Tom, you, you, you're breaking up, mate. You're breaking up. I'm, I know it's the UK. The signal's terrible here. I'm, t see, yeah, okay, I've got to go. Yeah, yeah, you get your guys to call my guys, and then my guys will call your guys, and we'll see whether we can sort something out. Yeah, yeah, that's for best, mate. Yeah, all right then. Good luck with Guido. All right then. Yeah, cheers. Bye for now. Yeah, bye, bye, bye. Oh. <sighs>